Hello my friends, wanted to share a desktop app I made to compress home video library. It wouldn't work on movies, but on any videos that you created using a consumer camera or a mobile phone. You can download it on GitHub as usual. I don't have Windows signing infrastructure in place or certificate, so it will show as untrusted software off the internet. All it asks is uh, to pick a folder with video files and it will go through the child folders as well. So here I'm just picking this folder with two videos for a quick demonstration, and it just goes through all the videos one by one, compressing them, otherwise leaving them untouched. Now this compression takes a lot of time, which a mobile device or a camera that has to record in real time doesn't have. It also takes a lot of computing power. The reduction in size you will get heavily depends on the kind of video you're compressing. If there is a lot of action, a lot of movement, then there will be less gain. On the contrary, if the video is just static, security cam footage, time lapse, then it will compress much, much better. In this folder, Osmo, I have currently 175 gigabytes of videos from my action cam. So there used to be 746 gigabytes. So that's quite a compression, as you see. Now, if you want to build the exe or if you're on Mac, it's very easy to do. You just need to install Git, Node.js and NPM and then run a few commands and you will have a local version. You can also build your own exe or DMG file. And if you just look through the code, it's incredibly basic app. So all it has for UI is written in HTML with one button, does the logic of video processing, just it delegates everything to FFmpeg. Here you see I open the desktop window and here I look for the files using extensions. And then down below I process files one by one simply by calling FFmpeg and setting the low priority for the process so that you can do other stuff uh, while the videos are compressing. And I usually let it run overnight. And the stuff below is for passing data from the UI to the main JS. Couple lines of CSS. That's all, maybe, you know, 300 lines for all of the logic here. And if you ever wanted to make a desktop app yourself, now is the time. Just copy this code and change the logic to what you want. I actually have a very similar app that does image processing. Thanks for watching. Hope this will be useful for someone. See you next time.